If all of us, based on what we do, what we see, what we hear, what we feel, what we emote, can only change in one of two ways. Because every moment of every day, something we see, hear, smell, taste, touch, changes who we are. Because when you know you're one of one, you walk differently. When you know who you are is special and different and unique, you talk differently. In a way, sports gave me something that allowed me to feed the part of me that was empty. So I dove into sports. Because in sports, it don't matter what color you are. It don't matter if you stutter. All that matters is can you dribble and can you shoot and play defense. I became something. I was something. And so for the next 13 years, I built an identity around football. And then one day, like most football players, that journey ended. And what I had built, this whole brand around strength and fight and persistence and hitting people legally was gone. And this time I didn't have football to save me. I didn't have football to find me. But what I did have was all that I learned from playing football. The foundation that it laid for me, the lessons, the perseverance, the fight, the blood, the sweat, the scars, the wins, the losses, all of it. And I used that as my foundation. I love the fact that we all can be the best version of us. And I love the fact that whatever we do in our lives, mother, father, corporate leader, military person, coach, we see us first. So I said, I want to help people like what they see and like who they are, right? Step one, you have to want what you say you want. Have a vision for what you want. I don't care what it is. Be a millionaire, get a scholarship, lose 20 pounds, be a better husband, better father. If you don't wake up with that vision, it ain't gonna happen. Number two, believe it's possible, right? One and two in my five steps of greatness are akin to the law of attraction. If step three, have habits around work. Stop saying what you're going to do. Stop saying I'm going to do it on Monday. Have habits around doing it, around going towards your vision. Step four, as you go, don't be an idiot. I want you to go, but learn as you go. Be a student of your vision. And then step five, when stuff happens, and it will happen, have the ability to fight through it. Why are we here? Well, we're all here for greatness. We are here to learn and to grow. We are all here to answer that calling that we all hear. We all hear it. They hear it too. You're better than this. We have to become the best version of us. And to do that, I learned, requires that we be our whole self. So the mission is simple. We are supposed to do what we're born to do. We're here to do. The intersection of what you can do and what you're supposed to do. That call that you hear will always be there. We will fight this battle until the battle is won. I will do this task in front of me until the work is done. Because like me, we are all literally one of one.